Here's a tutorial of how to integrate your Camsys Magic Cube controller with Unreal. So the very first thing you have to do is head over to your Setup tab. On your Setup tab, head over to Network. And in Network, make sure that this parameter called Send to Application on this PC is enabled to Yes. Next is that we head over to View DMXIO. Make sure that the universe you're going to use are enabled. So you can see over here that my universe one and two are enabled. Next, we're going to patch some lights. So I'll head over to this patch button right here. And in patch, um, you can see I already have the Martin Aura XB standard. That's the mode patched already. Now, if you don't know how to do that, just head over to choose head, type in Martin and choose a light that you want to use. Now, in most tutorials you're going to see is that the ever famous clay, packy, sharpie, that's what most tutorials will be using online. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we head over to Unreal. So in Unreal, just make sure that our DMX plugins are enabled. Now to enable those plugins, head over to Edit, Plugins. Under the search icon over here, type in DMX. And just enable all these and restart the engine. Now in Unreal, we want to make sure that our Magic Cube Campsys is actually talking back to Unreal via Artnet. Now, uh, just to test things out and to troubleshoot, Let's head over to our intensity over here. Just move this up and down. Head over to our DMX channel monitor and make sure that this guy is actually, you can see that channel two over here is actually working. By default, when you open up the DMX channel monitor for the first time, Unreal Engine defaults this remote universe to one. And when you look at it, it doesn't work. Now make sure that this remote universe is zero because in ArtNet world, ArtNet one is actually remote universe zero. Now that we have our magic queue communicating back and forth with Unreal, next thing that we have to do is make a DMX library. Now I really, you can see that over here, I already created one. So uh, easiest way to do that is you right click, go down to DMX, DMX library. So double click on DMX library. Under controllers, you create a DMX controller. So new controller, DMX controller. So you can see that I already created one over here. So under DMX controller, just type in this properties, ArtNet, broadcast, that's by default. Uh, universe start is at one. Uh, the amount of universes, um, you can see from my camps is over here. When I look at my patch and my settings, I have my um, two universes enabled. Now that's more than enough that we're going to use for this tutorial. Just make sure that remote universe range start is at zero. Remember that in ArtNet world, ArtNet one is actually universe zero in this setup. Next that we're going to create a fixture type. So head over to fixture types, create a new fixture. Under the DMX fixture settings, you'll see a DMX import. On the DMX import, you could actually head over to gdtf-share.com. It's a uh, repository where all the lighting fixtures are, and you could download the fixtures there and load them over here to your campuses and load them over here to your Unreal scene, and all of these will auto-populate. Now, sometimes, you don't have that luxury, so you have to create one. So like for the Mac Aura, they don't have a GDTF file for that. So I just created one in Unreal. Picture settings over here, made a name of what it is. The mode, if you look under my patch, view channels, actually if you go to view heads, you can see the Martin Aura standard, so that's a standard mode. Go to view channels. Now these are all the channels that the Mac Aura has. So if you can see over here, all these channels are correlating to all these functions over here. You could create a new function 
Uh, let's just say, let's just delete these two last two functions here to set an example. So you just add a function. On this function over here, you go to um, select a value and say that will be white. And you can see that will auto populate right over here. So that's white. And right over here in channel 14, that's CTC. Now in Unreal, they don't have the CTC function yet. So if you type CTC, there's it won't come up with anything. So just leave that blank. Now another thing that you're going to notice that under your patch settings, there's two patches for pan over here, pan and pan f, which is pan fine. Head over here on your patch settings like that is patch number four, pan, function three for patch four, pan. That's actually a 16-bit channel because that's sending two channels at one time. So just make sure that in your fixtures, if they do have two functions for those, just make sure that it's a 16-bit channel sending two channels at the same time. And you can see that that's channel four and five. And you can see over here in your functions, it actually skips five because that's two channels occupying that, that function over there. Now that we have our fixture types already populated, now let's head over to our fixture patch. As you can see that I already patched my Mac Aura there, but basically what you do is you go to add fixture, Mac Aura, and let's just delete that. And you can just patch this anywhere you want. So if you decided that you want your Mac Aura to be in channel 327, you could feel free to do that. But you can see that from my setup over here, my patch settings, that my Mac Aura is actually in channel one, or it starts at channel one. So let's move this to channel one of you here. Now the fun part, let's see if this whole thing works. Now, if you head over to view options, just make sure that your show engine content is activated. Now, if you head over to your browser over here, head over to your DMX fixtures, light fixtures, BP moving head, and there's a bunch of here you can use actually, but since our uh, Mac Aura is actually a moving head, let's just use this blueprint. Now in the details section over here, uh, under DMX library, that will be our DMX library right there. And our fixture patch will be our Mac Aura. Now let's see if this works. Press play. Voila! It's working. Now, if you head over to intensity, you can just move that up and down. Now that blinking light right over here, that will be your shutter. Now head over to beam, um, go to shutter. Let's make that open. Now you could go to position. So POS, you can move this far down, right, left. You could do some awesome, crazy stuff. Now let's head over to color. Now in color, as you can see, nothing is happening. Now why is that? Because by default, when you press stop here, let's just go into the blueprint moving head over here. By default, when Unreal ship this, it doesn't have a color component. It has a color wheel component, but not a color component where you can actually mix RGB settings. So in order to do that, you right click on this blueprint moving head and create a child. And I already created a child actually, you go to the content, blueprint moving head child. So I moved that child from that section into my root folder over here. So open this guy up. Now all I had to do was add a color component. So you could go to add component, color, and then basically that will just populate that. Make sure to save, compile, go over here, delete my old um, light there. Let's take the moving head that the child that I created, move this guy, and then make sure that under DMX, Head over to DMX library, that'll be our DMX library, and our fixture will be our Mac Aura 
picture right there for Mac or Apache. Press play. You can see the positions still work. Now let's see if the colors work. Yay, there you go. Voila. So basically that's how you control DMX lighting with the Camsys Magic Cube controller.